unique variety of landscapes in this region of North Africa comprises a variety of coastlines, vast deserts, as well as a fascinating and intriguing world of mountain scenery. On moving closer to the high Atlas Mountains, an increasing number of rocks begin to dominate the landscape. This region is still mainly populated by Berber tribes. Donkeys and mules are the main means of transport in the rugged, steep and desolate areas that are located some distance away from the main roads. For many years, the warlike Gundafi Berber controlled the strategically important routes that cut across the Atlas Mountains. However, peace has once again returned to the small villages and settlements of this area. The high mountain peaks divide Morocco into two contrasting regions the dry, desert-like southeast and the more fertile and lush northwest. From the ancient royal residence of Marrakesh, the journey to the Atlas Mountains leads through a picturesque cultivated landscape with huge olive plantations. Nearly half of the entire annual harvest comes from the Tahanaute region. The majestic mountain ranges extend across three countries, Morocco, Northern Algeria and Tunisia. Despite the surrounding sparseness of the rocks, some valleys have become important agricultural areas and are an important part of Morocco's economy. The Atlas Mountains are a good place to experience the simplicity of the countryside and also the daily life of the local inhabitants of this amazing region. For those who come here, the spectacular journey up into the remote and isolated mountain areas is an unforgettable adventure. But in the past, this captivating scenery was not as well protected as it is today as it was subjected to a large degree of exploitation. At that time, entire Zedern forests were cut down. However, new laws have curbed any further destruction. Several mineral resources such as phosphate, iron and lead can still be found deep within the massive stone strata of the Atlas Mountains. Much of the high Nafis Valley is dominated by its dense growth of juniper trees. And even in summer, some of the mountain peaks are covered with snow.
the narrow roads continue to wind their way around the mountain. Thus, one of the routes is known as the Road of a Thousand and One Curves. The journey to the 2,092 meter TZ Test Pass is a splendid experience. The seemingly endless view reaches up to the great mass of the Atlas Range. For many years, this important mountain route was under the strict military control of Gundafi Berber. A number of important strategic locations are reminders of old fortresses. The Kasbahs are a symbol of the former military power of this Berber tribe. Fortunately, the toll that had to be paid in earlier times has now been relegated to the pages of history. Also, tourist buses have replaced the former caravan trains. The majority of Berber fortresses were eventually deserted by their occupants. It seems as though only the Atlas Mountains have survived the ravages of time. Ever since they were created by massive tectonic movements in the Jurassic period, North Africa's highest mountains are also of climatic importance. Four thousand meters above sea level, these high mountains form a huge natural barrier between the two climatic zones of the Mediterranean and the Sahara Desert. On leaving the impressive peaks and mighty rocks of the high atlas, an abundance of fertile valleys comes into view. Marvelous variety of vantage points provide the most beautiful views of the magnificent scenery and it pays to take some time to explore the terrain. The beauty of nature added to the historical heritage of the Berbers and the Almohades are responsible for the charm of this incomparable landscape. After a few kilometers, the lower regions of the mountains provide a totally different atmosphere when, as night falls and with dramatic effect, the sun sinks beyond the noble and majestic Atlas Mountains.